So today we're going to see if ChatGPT can score a 1600 on the SAT. Let's get right into it. All right, so let's begin. Let's look at the SAT practice test. Let's do practice test six here. And yeah, let's just see how ChatGPT does Khan Academy here and just copy and paste the questions. And I should just post it. I know it looks weird with the formatting, but ChatGPT should be able to interpret this and gives us an answer just like that. So it says D. And we're just gonna plug and chug through all these questions. And just like that, we start speeding through the questions. ChatGPT is absolutely a force to be reckoned with. It takes about one second per question. All right, guys. So without reading the question, guess what letter ChatGPT is gonna pick? I think it's gonna pick the answer choice A. Oh my God, dude, I'm crazy like that. Okay, A it is. And as we finish up with the reading passages, we speed through the grammar and get to the rhetorical analysis. And just like that, we have finished module one reading. As we moved on to module two reading, ChatGPT seems super confident in all of its answers, but I'm not quite sure it's getting all of them right. Make sure you comment down below and predict its score. Yeah, I mean, these module two reading uh, questions, they have some very long passages. Look at that block of text, man, that's crazy. Choicey it is. Everything was going great until we ran into an unexpected problem. So here we have a weird chart. I don't know if I can just copy and paste this and if ChatGPT can read this. I mean, let's see what happens here and copy. And I don't know if it pasted the thing in. So let's just see what it gives us. It's giving us an answer choice of C. I don't know if we can actually interpret this, this chart or not, but we'll see at the end, I guess. With that out of the way, the rest was smooth sailing as we breezed past the grammar and eventually reached the end of module two reading. We're gonna move on to the math section and see how it does there. So we're on to module one math here. I mean, I feel like for the first couple, or at least the entire module one math section, I think ChatGPT should have this on lock. And honestly, ChatGPT probably did have it on lock until something very bad happened. Oh, looks like I just broke ChatGPT. Something went wrong. Um, let's regenerate here. Oh boy, I think I definitely broke it. I mean, what happened, man? I was eventually able to fix it though by going on my personal account. Breaks. Finally, I fixed it. Okay. Thank goodness. And pretty soon we got to the end of math module one. One last question here. Let's copy all of this. Let's try and guess what answer. I'm going to say B. And ChatGPT says C. So our guess was not correct. But we're officially done with math module one and we're gonna go on to math module two. Everyone knows that module two math is supposed to be harder than module one math, so I was surprised that ChatGPT was getting through these questions pretty easily. Couple questions here. Got a chart. And this is a problem I actually covered in one of my videos. Funny enough, it says it's 036. If I recall, that might be it. With just a couple more questions to go, we eventually do finish the entire SAT exam and it's time to see ChatGPT's SAT results. So to view ChatGPT's SAT score, we can go here and download the score report, open up, and oh my goodness, <laughs> 1220. I mean, 1220 is a respectable SAT score, but for ChatGBT, you know, an advanced AI, that is not a great performance. 27 total incorrect answers out of 98 questions. Missed 13 on the reading section and missed 14 questions on the math section. I mean, wow. So here are the splits at 640 on reading and a 580 on math. So it looks like ChatGBT was missing was doing actually pretty well. So I missed one of the uh, vocab questions, I believe. Yeah, one of the vocab questions here. It was really hot throughout the, the first reading module, but then just, I guess, fell off. So it didn't do great on these questions. Two, oh my goodness. What happened to math? So math, oh my God. I mean, what is this? <laughs> this is just, I don't know if it's actually ChatGPT not being able to answer the questions, or maybe it was human error. You never know. Module 2 math was, I mean, come on, ChatGPT was getting these last couple questions correct, but just like weird, silly mistakes, like getting the first question wrong in Module 2. Like this is, like this question comparatively is a lot easier than, you know, a question like this. 
So unfortunately, ChatGPT is not able to score a 1600 on the SAT, but if you guys enjoy the video, make sure you subscribe and I will see you in the next one.